Hey, what is happening? YouTube rules for rebels here. Today we're going to be talking about Instagram automation. So we're talking about Instagram bots. So what is an Instagram bot? An Instagram is a bot is a bot which will automatically like photos based on hashtags of your choosing, automatically follow people uh, based on them posting uh, hashtags that are relevant to you, and it will automatically comment on posts. So there's a lot of services like this out there. Uh, most of them are paid. Most of them also offer a free trial. We have things like Boostgram, which you're looking at right now. Uh, we have Instagris. We have Likestagram. And we have RoboLike. Now, um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, should I use one of these? Shouldn't I use one of these? So I just wanted to take a second to tell you guys a little bit about them. Um, I also did a little experiment. I started two new Instagram channels. Uh, one, I did everything with manually. The other one... I used an auto follower um, on the account that I managed manually. I was like, you know, maybe three times a day, I'd take five or 10 minutes out of my day to go and like a bunch of stuff just so that we have, you know, some kind of similar activity going on in the accounts. And basically the conclusion I came to, I will show you kind of the back end of one of these and then kind of how easy it is to set these up. These things have gotten a little bit better over the years. I remember a while back I had tried one of these and it was like really complicated to set up. You had to go into your Instagram settings and there were APIs. Now it's literally just go to whatever site you want to use and log in with your Instagram details. One thing to be aware of, um, if you're not using a reputable company, you are giving them access to your Instagram account, essentially. So an unethical company could send out promotional stuff for, you know, let's say I'm using RoboLike. RoboLike might hijack all the accounts using RoboLike and send out a message like, hey, everybody sign up for RoboLike. Um, they could also potentially sp sell ad spots and post stuff on your Instagram account for you because you are giving them that type of access. Uh, so just something to be aware of. I haven't heard about any issues like that. Um, so let's see, like with Robo, like how does it work? Uh, clean, simple to use, set your tag, set your time and sit back. So with this one, um, they don't do commenting and they don't do auto following. This one simply does likes. Uh, sometimes this Robo stuff is against uh, the terms of service of Instagram. And I've heard a lot of people say that the only thing to really safely do is auto like once you start getting into auto commenting and things like that, um, you know, you're kind of putting your account at risk of getting shut down. Uh, the pricing, I thought Robo likes had some of the best pricing, $7.77 a month or $9.99 a month doesn't really look any different than these are basically identical plans. You just decided to pay them $2 more. And with this one, you're actually getting uh, Instagram and Twitter automation. Um, I'll tell you one thing about automation. I had automated a Pinterest account way back in the day. It was actually my Rules for Rebels Pinterest account. And I think there was too much activity going on it, and they basically suspended the account. So now, not only do I have I lost that Pinterest account, but I can't go sign up with the other user. With I can't go sign up a new account with Rules for Rebels as a username. So if I do want to do Pinterest, which, I mean, I don't think Pinterest is is really going to be a great site for me. But if I did want to use it, I'm going to have to be like rules for rebels one, and I'm going to have to go create a, create a new email. So, you know, if you value your accounts, I would recommend not using these automation services. You know, if you're just trying to grow some bullshit accounts so that you can, you know, sell likes or put some affiliate program in the bio, you know, by all means, I guess use robo likes and, and, and drive up your, uh, your engagement with people. But if this is for like your personal brand or your product or your company, I would suggest doing everything manually and not using these programs. Uh, let me take you into the back end of RoboLike and kind of just show you guys like how this works. So if I wanted to sign up for Twitter, I would simply put in my Twitter username and password and it's all set up. Uh, we'll go to the Instagram dashboard. So on the Instagram dashboard, uh, you can basically set the time that you want it to run. It's going to run, it's going to do 60 to 80 auto likes um, per hour. And you can set up hashtags that you want to like things. So target couponing, target dog, etc. cetera. Um, normally it'll, it'll populate with the recent things that it's liked. Um, I think if we go over to likes here, we might be able to see that. Okay, I think it might take a few minutes to populate here. I just logged in. So um, I don't know that, that we're going to be able to take a look at this, but really easy to set up. I'll tell you where these auto liking, or I'm sorry, where these auto commenting bots get kind of weird is... You know, I'm, I'm sure you guys notice bots commenting on your accounts, and it's kind of cool when you see somebody commenting on your on your picture. But then when you actually go to look at the comment, and you just see some like very generic comment like "damn" or three thumbs up or something like that, you kind of know that a bot did it and a real person didn't do it. Um, there's also some cringeworthy comments. One, one of my bots had commented on a girl's wedding photo, and I think it was just like "damn," and, and, and instead of calling me a creep, she uh, she politely said "thank you," but. 
um, you know, someone posts a beach photo and, you know, you would think it'd say something like, oh, I'm jealous, that's awesome. But you don't really, you know, you basically have a couple preloaded comments and sometimes your comments get dropped on pictures that you wouldn't really think. And it's just kind of like cringeworthy comments. So uh, one other thing to be aware of in general, does this strategy work? Uh, yes and no. You know, I started out, like I said, two Instagram profiles, tried to manage one manually and one with, uh, with an auto liking program. Uh, over the course of three days, the so one using the auto liking program grew uh, a little over 250 um, subscribers or followers. Uh, the one that wasn't using the auto liking program, uh, I think wound up growing 48 followers. Um, so, you know, it, it did work. But again, like I said, you know, you, I think you're kind of cheapening your account. You're also potentially putting your account at risk of getting shut down. So use it at your own risk. Like I said, it, it, if the, the Instagram account you're using is for like your main company, your main product, your personal brand, I would recommend doing things manually. If you're just trying to like grow bullshit Instagram accounts to either turn around and resell them um, and or like sell access to your audience, then, you know, I, I guess by all means, go ahead and use these programs because, you know, you're probably trying to grow multiple Instagram accounts in mul multiple niches and it'll probably speed up the process for you. But that's kind of my take on auto liking, auto commenting, auto following Instagram uh robots. The one other thing that I, I would mention, it just kind of goes along with not using it on your main Instagram account or your personal brand account, is your Instagram feed becomes absolutely worthless. And I'll tell you why. Your Instagram feed becomes worthless because, you know, I think my, my account followed 1,500 people over the course of those three days. So now my entire stream is nothing but garbage that I'm not interested in. So photos from people that I actually want to follow, from friends, etc., just kind of get lost in the shuffle. Um, yeah, so guys, I guess we'll wrap it up there. Um, should you use Instagram likes like uh, Autobots? Yes, if you're just trying to grow accounts, probably not on your personal product or personal brand. Um, if you use any Instagram um, automation features, bots, etc., and have success with them, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys tomorrow uh, for Side Hustle Episode 8. Talk to you guys later.